Hi everyone, this is Judith again, and welcome to another episode of my conversational series where I interview professionals that um, have to do one way or another with the process of buying and selling homes. And today I'm very excited to have with us um, Michelle Santiago. Hi Judith. Hi Michelle, thank you for being with us today. And Michelle is an escrow officer and she works at Chicago Title. So uh, Michelle, you and I were talking the other day and you mentioned that you have been pretty busy even though we're in shelter in place, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So there are still transactions happening, buyers and sellers. And um, I would love to get your thoughts on that. But before we go there, why don't we start from the basics, from the beginning? So why don't you tell us what is the role of a title company? What do you do? Sure. So the role of the title company is basically we uh, research the property through public records. Uh, we pull any liens or easements or um, mortgages that are recorded on the property. And then we compile that into a report called the preliminary title report and um, basically we'll let you know that anything that is on the property so you have an idea of what you're dealing with when you get into contract um, with that property. And then after that, at the close of escrow, you'll get what's called a final title policy, which is basically like the preliminary title report, but it has all your information on it as the new owner of the property. Great. Yeah. And you just mentioned title policy. So uh, title policy, title insurance, um, we know that it's important, but why don't you tell us why is that important? Yeah. Title insurance is very important. Um, it basically protects you against your uh, rights to the property. So in case there was a dispute on ownership of the property, um, any lot lines, if you know your neighbor has their fence too far over onto your lot, uh, things like that. So it'll protect you against that. It's an insurance policy. Um, they will, um, if there's litigation, they would represent you. And if it was determined that there is a claim to be paid, they would also pay that claim. Wow. So it is really important to have. Yes. It. Yeah. So um, I know that companies like yours, like Chicago Title, uh, not only do the title insurance, but actually you do the escrow, right? So yeah. just for clarification, what exactly is escrow? Okay, so escrow is um, basically we take uh, the documentation, um, we follow the purchase contract mm -hmm. and take the documentation and we um, make escrow instructions. Um, we are a neutral third party, so we're not for either side, the buyer or the seller. Um, we take in the instructions based on uh, the purchase contract, and we also uh, take in all the money, so the buyer's money, the lender's money, and then once we have everything and all the paperwork is signed, uh, we go ahead and disperse those monies to all the parties involved in the transaction that are being paid. Great. Yeah. So I'm assuming that, uh, you know, the clients, either the buyers or the sellers have to send you information, right? So yes. I, yeah. So what type of information do they need to provide? So each, each transaction is going to be different depending on your transaction. So um, if you're an individual and you own the home, um, you're going to have to provide um, your names, your social security number. Um, if you're a seller, it would be if you had a loan on the property, your banking information, uh, who you make your payments to, um, your account information for proceeds that we would wire to you. Um, so basically a lot of private personal information, but we do keep everything uh, very secure. And um, I know I just had a, somebody ask about, you know, not wanting to give over their social and um, we just reassure them that we are a neutral third party. We keep everything private and secure. 
Um, that information is not given out to anybody, um, but it is something that you will have to supply us with. Okay, absolutely. And I know from working with you that Chicago Title is one of the major players in the title and escrow company. So you're a very, very serious company. Yeah. Um, so beyond those documents or the information that they have to provide, so that is at the beginning of the transaction. So let's jump to the end of the transaction. I remember that um, many people are like, oh my God, all the documents that we need to sign when we close the escrow. So what are the main documents that people need to sign? So um, if you're a buyer, um, you're gonna be signing escrow instructions and possibly even loan documents. And we help facilitate that process um, if you're getting a loan, if you're buying it all cash, it would just be some escrow documents, um, not very many, uh, just how you would want to hold title and the costs of everything that's involved. Um, if you are a seller, you're going to be signing, again, escrow instructions, um, the deed that will sign the property over to the buyer when we're ready to record it. Mm -hmm. um, and then some tax documents as well. So we do have to report to the Franchise Tax Board um, any sale that happens, so we, um, and, and the IRS. So you'll be signing two uh, tax forms as well. So, but our stuff is not that much, and it, it, it's also, um, we follow the contract. So there's nothing in our documents that's gonna be different than what you've already agreed to and negotiated. Fantastic, yeah, thank you. And, um, a minute ago, you were talking about how secure you keep all this information. And I know that there's another step that um, I would like you to talk about, which is when clients have to wire transfer money. Yes. I know that there are very specific recommendations. So tell us about that. Yes. So first, let me start by saying wires are very secure. And I know there's so much stuff going around about wire fraud. Um, wires are secure. If you get the information directly from the person that you're wiring to, um, where the fraud happens is if you're sending in an email and the email is intercepted and then different wiring instructions are provided. So what we do um, at Chicago Title is if you want your funds wired as, as an, a seller, um, we have to get the instructions from you in person uh, verbally. Um, it can't be um, something that your bank emailed to you and then you sent on to us or that you even brought into us. It's really important that we get that information verbally from the people um, directly so that we know that we're wiring to the correct account. And if we do that and we do it uh, directly with the person, it's very, very safe and there's no issues with wiring. So you just wanna make sure that you always double check um, the information. If you're sending a wire, you wanna call us directly, verify the wiring instructions, and we do the same on our end. If you sign outside of the office with a notary, our notaries are wonderful, they're bonded, they're amazing, uh, but we still have to verbally call you and verify it because it was not given to us directly. Yeah, that's, that's great. And Michelle, it sounds, and I know by, you know, my own experience that you have a very good hand in every little step of the escrow process. And Absolutely. Yeah, and you're making sure that our clients are, you know, secure, their information, their funds, and everything else. Absolutely, 100% protected. And we like, if they uh, want to go over the processes and um, from the beginning to the end, um, they're more than welcome to call us so we can go over that. What we want is them to have a great experience. Um, it doesn't have to be super stressful. Um, we've had so many times in signings where they said, wow, this was way easier than I thought it was. And, and that's the goal. We want them to be um, feel like it wasn't as scary and hard and and that it was a good transaction yes that's the main goal michelle thank you so much for being with us today um we thank I you know, i know that the information you share with everybody is super useful and um again thank you for being here 
Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And for everybody, if you have more questions about escrow title, you know uh, where to find me. My information is down here. And um, stay tuned for the next episode of our conversational series. Bye. Bye.